All right, now that we have some basic components in here, let's start to give some color to our scene. Now, um, you'll notice that we have lots of different things that we can apply. We've got brick and cladding for the outside. So let's just take a look at the brick that we have there. Maybe it'd be nice to give us uh, maybe some brick antique to the outside of our building. So um, you can go ahead and apply the materials that you know that you're going to be using. And you might want to go ahead and apply it you know, just by clicking it first because otherwise it's going to be very dif difficult because you're not going to be apply able to apply it to everything instantaneously. It's just too much. Um, so at first there's a lot of just clicking. Then let's say that we have the inside of our rooms that we need to give some colors to. So I'm just going to go to my regular colors. Wow maybe would be nice to see some thumbnails. So we're going to have orange walls on the inside. This is quite an ugly orange, but that's all right. We're going to rename or going to recolor this orange here in a second. So there's kind of the inside that I want for that. Then other parts might get, you know, a different color. So we're only going to have white on the walls inside the closet. So that's pretty much what I need right there. Now that we've got the different colors, if we wanted to recolor things quickly, then of course you're going to want to start to use the different tool sets that are available to you, like holding down the control key will make sure that it recolors all of the colors that are exactly the same color throughout this particular um, drawing that or model that are contiguous, touching each other, that is, um, with the same color. So that's really, really quite nice to be able to do that. That way you can take a look at the different colors that you want. Now, don't forget the floor. One thing that I should point out about the floor, though, is that I would suggest that you do the floor separate from the other object. So I'm going to go ahead and, and actually cut that out. There was a mistake that I had there where this is actually part of the original object out here. Um, that's the floor plan. Let me make sure that I get rid of that. Hopefully that floor plan will come back on and it doesn't for some reason. I'm going to go ahead and group that stuff together. Hopefully that will appear with each other. Floor plan off. For some reason that one line is set, set there and uh, not really sure. Anyway, um, what I'd like to do is have that floor plan off and I'm going to take this original model and go ahead and make it a component. This is the house. And I want to start drawing in my floor. Now to draw your floor, it's pretty much just using the shape of the house to draw the different floor parts that you need. You can kind of fill it in the way that you need. But I've got my different floors here. And the nice thing about having the floor be separate is that, um, number one, I can go ahead and give it different, let's see, roofing, carpet, and textiles. So here's my carpet flooring that I have in there. Which, of course, who would want a carpeted house? But anyway, um, the nice thing about having these things be separate is that you can turn them on and off and put them on their own layer, possibly. So I might go to layers. Oh, look at the, all the layers that I made here. All these layers came in, by the way, with those components, most likely. And anyway, I can create a new layer. And I can call this my carpets. And hopefully I can take the op objects that I have there, go to Entity Info, and move them to my Carpets layer. That way, if I hide the Carpets layer, let me go back to Layer 0, Hide Carpets, and you'll see that those carpets do indeed disappear. And that's kind of nice because I can turn on and off the carpets at will if I have them on their own layer. So notice it's kind of a pain when you have, yep, those are all layers. Take a look at that. All of those go with the components right there, which we didn't really worry about when we did our components. In fact, it's possible, I guess, that you could go in there and move all that stuff to one layer, but 
lots and lots of layers can kind of be confusing just because it, it doesn't seem to always make sense that they're there. So um, I'd like you to go through your entire object, your entire um, model, and give it materials throughout so that um, you can get some high quality looking stuff here. And if you have any questions, let me know. Um, otherwise, I think you know what to do. Um, make sure that you pay attention to getting the roof done. I don't really cover that in here because it's covered in the book. Um, but this is basically just an introduction to how you get started with this project and what I expect to be seen at the end. Don't forget all the other components that you can add for counters and fridges and, and chairs and tables and all sorts of stuff. Of course, you can have your own your own chairs and your own table as I ask you to do in the assignment. So um, let me know if you have any questions and uh, thanks.